into the white Scots Antarctic Odyssey explores the true story of Robert Falcon Scott's ill-fated Terra Nova expedition. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe the author Joanna Grohovich. Yeah, I did that right. I did that right. <laughs> You've been practicing your name so much, but then you say this is like, you've been called many things in your time. Haven't I you? have, I have. Some of them not so nice. <laughs> Grohovich. No, it was great very to have good. you. Great to have you on Thanks the cafe. For me. Now, look, we know you're a very accomplished writer, but this is the first book you've actually had published. So, can you tell us a bit about how it came about? Well, for me, it was um, very much about making uh, history accessible to. Uh, younger readers, I read uh, Captain Scott's sledging diary several years ago and I was really taken by the story. Um, it wasn't a dismal tr tragedy as I had assumed. Um, Still a good was, ending. <laughs> well, there's so much that happens in the story that is sort of glossed over or forgotten because of um, the tragic ending right. of the story. Um, but I think the fact that uh, several members of the expedition died um, it, it doesn't diminish what those men achieved. Mm. So for those who don't know the story, uh, Scott went and he didn't win the race, did he, to the South Pole? No, he wa set out to um, lead the first, uh, ex uh, the first group of men to the South Pole and fairly late in the piece they learnt that the Norwegian Roald Amundsen, who was a very um, uh, famous mm. polar ex explorer in his own right, um, was on his way to conquer the pole as well. So it was a race? Uh, it turned into a race. Um, it didn't start out that way. And unfortunately, Captain Scott's planning didn't take that race aspect into account. So. Um, Fascinating place though, isn't it? I mean, you know, Scott described it as a awful place, but mm. you know, when you take into consideration you had man-eating whales, you had bad food, you had blizzards, quite a fascinating yarn. Yeah, incredible. And incredible. so why did you decide to make it for nine, so nine to 15 year olds? Uh, yes, I, I think that it, um, a lot of kids learn about Scott in school, but in the classrooms, you know, failure and death really are the point, only points of discussion and yet, um, the story is an incredible adventure story. It's a story of daring, um, a, a story of resilience, a story of great friendship between a group of men. And ultimately, um, they triumphed in what they set out to do. They got to the pole, but unfortunately, they weren't the first. And they didn't get home. <laughs> yeah. And was that part of putting this into a book, I guess, to tell everybody of the aspects that they didn't necessarily know about? And what were some of those aspects? Well, I think that um, many of the, the character qualities that you see in, in the story are really important to kids and, and their learning. Resilience is a huge thing that comes out in the story. Uh, courage, perseverance determination, all of these wonderful qualities that we really want our children to display mm. themselves. So mm. it's lovely to be able to model some of those behaviours in, in, uh, in a true life story. And the thing too is that it's a gripping good good adventure story, isn't it, what goes yeah, on? Yeah, it's incredible. And there's that famous line from Oates, wasn't it? I'm going out, was it? Yeah. I'm going outside and maybe some time. Yeah. They use it in a commercial, I think, for baked beans a while yeah, ago. Stuck in my, yeah, they did, didn't right. they? Oh, but that line, and that was a real self-sacrifice what he did didn't he because he was essentially going to die he had gangrene and frostbite and he went out because he knew that his he, he was bringing the yeah everyone his, else down wasn't he he was um slowing the team down mm. and at that point they were facing some pretty terrible conditions on the way back and he knew that if they didn't pick up the pace then they would all die so um what he did was the ultimate sacrifice um truly a remarkable feat of bravery um yeah, and, and selflessness. Do you get nervous when you're writing a book like this because it is based on a true story? You know, do you th worry about some of the feedback you might get from those involved or do you just write it with an open mind and think, I'm just going to tell the story from what I think it is? Well, I think if you've, you know, the good thing about telling a true story is that often you, you know, you're doing a lot of research. So, mm -hmm. and because Captain Scott's story is, is so widely researched, um, by you know, polar historians right through to you know modern day explorers. Um, there's a lot to draw from. Right. Um, and I think that uh, this is definitely a more um, sympathetic look at Scott 
and his and his expedition and his planning and his leadership of the men. Um, back in the 70s, there was a very well-known book by an English writer called Roland Huntford, and he did a bit of a hatchet job on Scott, and that had a flow-on effect with how kids were taught about right. Captain Scott mm -hmm. in the 70s and the 80s, and that was very much my generation. We were taught that he was a fool, um, that he made really bad decisions, that he wasn't prepared, and that he endangered people's lives, and I really don't think that that's the true story. Mm. What a nice tribute to him too, I guess, to so put in words. What yeah. feedback have you been getting from the, from the age group that you're after? What have they said? Oh, really good. I've been doing quite a few school visits, so that's been wonderful getting um, up close with my readers. And the kids are really taken not only by the subject of Antarctica, but the fact that these people were real. One of the kids put up their hand at, at the end of a talk and said, is this did this really happen? Mm. Wow. Because it seems so outlandish, it really is a remarkable story and a lot of it does seem quite sort of cinematic and astonishing. Mm. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? Isn't it's it? Like, yeah, what great. an adventure. Uh, I'm looking forward to giving it to my boys to read, actually. Uh, Joanna, thank you so much for stopping by today. Yeah, me. thank you. Congrats. Awesome. Thank you. Into the White Scots Antarctic Odyssey is available now from all good bookstores.